Hi, I'm Byron Hurst. This is Hazel Hurst at Home, and here's a little fun thing you could do if you're stuck at home. All you need are some pastels, and we're going to do a cloisonous drawing of beautiful Gunamata Bay. Here's one I prepared earlier. When you're drawing a landscape, big things first. So, earth, sky, water. So here we go. There's some earth. There's the beach over at Bundina. Here's a little bit more earth down at Hungary Point. And here's the big sand spit in Gunnamatta Bay. Big shallow sand spit. There's going to be a lighter colour. It's like the nose of a dolphin. And then we've got a little bit of housing across the bay on the yacht club side of the bay. Let's just throw a little bit of landscape onto there. And we've got some nice rectilinear lines putting some architecture on there. So we've got a bit of a contrast. We need something to break it up, so quick palm tree here. Don't bother too much with um, finicky, careful lines because what's going to happen is you're going to use these big fat pastels here and it's pointless having fine detail. So we bang on a bit of architecture, some boat sheds here, nice big black outlines because that's in the spirit of the cloisonous style. Cloisonism means a cell. A little cell that you fill with colour. Dark outline and then you fill it with colour. Okay, so none of this needs to be particularly fussy or difficult. Some boat sheds, a couple of ramps coming down. And for boats, I might put a little boat shed down the other end at the, uh, the old fisheries base, now the marine rescue base. So we'll pop that in just to give us a little bit of balance here. And then boats are as easy as this. Just a few triangles down the bay. And there you go, there's your drawing finished. So you've got your drawing down. The next thing, for cloisonism, it's the stained glass effect. You do the lead light. So you're doing the lead linings.
Okay, so I'm just finishing up with a little bit of a dark outline. Just the bits that need a little bit of extra polish. And these are very smudgy. It's always a great idea just to cut it out with your scissors and put it on a clean sheet of paper, mount it up, and it gives you a nice crisp outline, which is a nice contrast to the rather scratchy effect of the pastel. We'll see you next time.